Hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today I'll be doing the Game Maker tutorial, covering the basic aspects of adding sounds into your Game Maker game. Um, so this tutorial just basically covers adding sounds to your Game Maker game. So in this case, I want to be using one sound. I'll just be making a background song that was made by my friend Rohan Contreras. A song called Time Preparing, which I just got and want to use for this tutorial. The link to it YouTube is in the description. So first you have to add a sound. So you have to can go here, right click on sounds and create sound. In this case we can load a sound. In this case I want to load his song called Time Preparing. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, but this is what it sounds like. Something along the lines of that. Something along the lines of that. So that's the song I'll be using for my background music for my menu that I'm making. So I'll call it sound underscore menu. So this is going to be background music for my menu. Someone's like, okay. Now we have loaded the song. So now we should add a control object. Call it obj underscore menu underscore control. Swipe OK. I mean, not OK. So now I want to go add event, a create event. And I'll just use code for this because it's easier to use. Now we have several code options to use. <coughs> the main option is sound underscore play. So sound underscore play. Wait, no, I misspelled sound. Sound underscore play, which will just basically play the sound, whatever sound we give it. In this case, we call it sound underscore menu. Sorry, I keep misspelling. And this is good and all, but it will sound underscore play. What it does is it plays the song only once. It doesn't loop it, so it will play the song once and then it will stop. So we don't want that. Since this is going to be in a menu, we want it to keep playing over and over again until a new option is selected. So to do that, we can have the sound underscore loop. So instead of sound underscore play, we can change it to sound underscore loop. So when it finishes the song, it'll keep. When it finishes the song, it'll keep playing it over and over again until a new option is selected. But just in case you ever want your song to stop, the option for stopping the sound is simple also. Sound underscore stop. It stops this whatever sound you select in this. So sound underscore menu. If I leave these two options in the create event, it won't work. I'm just showing you guys the different different sound functions. Now these are the main three sound functions you'll probably be using. So I'll just erase this. Like if your player in the No More Lives event, you probably want the sound underscore stop to, so you can stop the music from playing. So this here is my sound underscore loop. Now let me show you. Put it in my main menu. I'll be doing a tutorial for this later. Main menu. OBJ underscore menu underscore control. Play. Got a little slow. And as you can hear, the music is now playing.
And so yeah, the music is now playing on my menu and it will re-loop over and over again until I select an option. I don't have any options yet. So, this has been an original Retry This production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.